My name is Harrison Haynes. I'm in the exhibition area 919, proud to be. So you're looking at a grid of six photographs. Each are monochrome to a certain degree, but there is a lot of play of light across the surface of those individual cushions causing shadows and other colors to emerge. There are pictures of cushions from leather or leatherette sofas, and those sofas happen to be all respectively situated in what's known as a green room, where the band hangs out and gets dressed and has a beer and sends an email and sits for hours being bored. The titles of the photographs are simply the names of the venues. So the picture of the red cushion from Glasgow is titled Oran Moor, which in Scottish means beautiful sound, which I thought was really great as a title because of the literal translation of that. Some of the other titles are, are more oblique, like Button Factory, because the club in Dublin is an old button factory warehouse. Trix Centrum is the one in Antwerp, and I don't know what that means. It sounds kind of smutty or something. I don't know. And then Subterranean is the club in Chicago, and Point Ephemere is the club in Paris. I found myself as the drummer in a band that had a very aggressive touring schedule for many years. And I've always done music and visual art alternately. It's hard to do them at the same time. But my compulsion at this time was that I was really itching to make some visual art, but I was on the road all the time and I didn't really have a studio and I didn't really have the means to make the kinds of art that I had been making prior to that. Photography was something I started looking at in a different way all of a sudden, like making images that would, that would stand on their own and speak for themselves as art rather than being references for other pieces of art that I would make. In glass go, I saw these red cushions that were lit by the stage lights and there was this kind of psychedelic pallor and a palette like where the shadows on a red cushion were ended up being violet or green because of the contrasting colors of the stage lights. At that moment when I saw that red rippled leatherette and light passing across it, it reminded me of Velázquez, Pope Innocent X, where he has this satin cowl, the way that Velázquez painted light reflecting off that satiny material has always been a huge inspiration for me. And so I thought, here is a moment of light that is beautiful and strange.